Okay, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna uh, convert it at the Chinese ROM to global ROM. Okay, so as you can see, uh, if we go here to about phone and then software information. So as you can see, uh, it's still in CN. So that means we're on the Chinese software. So if you watch my previous videos, I've given you already the advantages of being on Chinese firmware. You get to receive automatic updates. On the global firmware, you won't be able to do that. So first things first, I want the reason why I want it to be on global ROM because uh, being on the global ROM has more features for me personally than the Chinese software. And I want everything to be on uh, English. So here are the steps how to do it. I'll put uh, the link in the description below of what files you need to download so as, as soon as you download the files uh, put the files on your desktop uh, make a folder extract the folder so you have a folder like this so you have all these files here okay so this, the last file here is the raw file you will have to extract that file. So let's say, let's make a new folder here in the in desktop. Then we, let's say name the folder raw, then open this, and then we extract the contents to that folder. So we just wait for it to finish to extract. Uh, just be sure that before you flash your firmware, you have all the drivers installed, you have minimal ADB installed, all of which will be included in the description below. So don't forget to install those first. Uh, me, I, I already had it installed in, in my computer since I'm using my computer to flash my phone. So I'll be adding uh, additional two more files here, which would be the minimal ADB and the ASUS driver files. So if you, if you have those installed, you won't have any problem anymore. Okay, so let's just wait for it to finish. So we're, we're ready at 40%. Uh, so as I said, uh, being in a Chinese firmware, you can still delete some of the apps if you want to remain on the Chinese firmware, you could delete some of those Chinese apps and have Google Play Store installed. But for me, I would like to be on the global firmware. So that's why I'm gonna flash it. So let's just wait for it to finish. I'll fast forward the video for a while just for it to be finished. Okay, so uh, we already finished extracting the files. So you have a folder like that here. So inside the folder, you'll have 28 items. Just look for the file flash all underscore AFT. So it's over here. Okay. So don't click on that yet. Open your phone. Open your phone, connect the USB Type-C to your computer and on the side port. Remember the side port, not the bottom port. So you'll have this enable uh, USB file transfer. So just click on cancel on that. Then leave the phone down there. Go to your device manager. We'll just click on device manager be sure you don't have any errors here so as soon as you see you don't have any errors we're good to go power off your phone so wait for it to shut down now press the power and volume up button at the same time. We'll 
just press on that and you should see a screen pop up okay oops let's do it again so in case you missed it you can just do it again you just wait for it to start up again you'll have to go into fast boot mode so power it off it would be easier if you take it out first so power and then up at the same time there as soon as you see that start thing on top there that means you're in fast boot mode so get your usb type c connect it on the side port again on your device manager you on the first side you will see a android device adb interface so that must pop out or else you did something wrong or you forgot to install the minimal adb so as soon as it pops out and you have installed minimal adb so just open minimal adb and fast boot and to check if your device is connected, so just type fastboot space devices and press enter. You will see this like serial number thing here and it says fastboot. So that means my device is connected. Okay? So as soon as you see it's connected, you can close that go back to where we extracted the file go to flash all underscore aft and double click on that okay so now it's flashing we just have to wait this will take about five to ten minutes on the rog3 i'm not sure how fast it would take here on the rog5 so just give it some time. Your phone will automatically reboot after this. So let's just wait for it. So don't touch the phone. Don't take out the plug. Remember once you're flashing and the plug is loose or you might, uh, let's say, hit the phone you could destroy the flashing process and break your phone. So you have to be very careful not to touch the phone and don't cancel anything. So just leave it as, as is, wait for the process to finish. And as soon as it's finished, your phone will restart on the global firmware already. So it's very easy. That's all you have to do. But remember after this process your phone is not yet fully converted uh, you will be on the global firmware but you will still not be able to receive uh, up updates you will ha still have to do another process which i will teach you on how to change the fingerprint of your phone from china to uh, ww that's from cn china to ww which means global so we just have to wait for the process to complete now. Uh, I'll fast forward again this video until it's finished and I'll update you as soon as it's done, okay? So see you in a while. As you can see, uh, it had restarted. Press the volume up button right away to go back to uh, the fast boot mode. Press the volume up or down to choose recovery mode. Once you choose recovery mode, press the power button to enter recovery mode. There, as you can see, we're now in recovery mode. So just press the power button. As soon as the logo appears, press the volume up again. Then just scroll down to wipe data. 
factory reset. Okay, so enter with the power button and then down to yes and then enter again with the power button. So it's gonna read some stuff here and on top here it, it will be done and says reboot system now. So just press enter with the power button again. And now it's gonna start uh, it's gonna as you can see there's no more 10 cent listing under there so now it's gonna boot up already so let's just wait for it supposedly when this starts we'll be at the global uh, firmware already so give it some time Okay. There. See, so as you can see, we're now in the start stuff with the language English United States. Unlike the earlier China version, it started off with a Chinese language. So let's check it out. Let's go. Then let's skip everything first. So, oh, I have to sign into my Google account. That's because I forgot to log out from my Google account before the factory reset. So please always remember to log out first your device. Always remember to log out your device before doing a factory reset. So we're connecting. So we're connected. So I'll have to lo log into my account because I forgot to log out. So if you, if you don't want to do these steps, always log out your account. So let's put in my email address, my password. Okay, so now we were able to log into my account. Let's wait for it. Getting account info. Give it some time. We'll just wait for it for a while. Okay. So let's just click on next and date. Let's, let's skip everything first so that we could just, you know, check the phone if it was successfully converted to the global firmware. skip first the pin let's skip everything okay so next skip 
confirm. There, complete. So, uh, same with the ROG3. You'll, you'll be having a warning message like this. The installed firmware does not match the device origin. So, you won't be able to receive photo updates automatically. You'll have to do it manually. That's because uh, your device is a 10 cent version which is supposedly a China firmware and you're using the global version. Okay, let's skip everything. Exit, exit. there let's check on settings okay so as you can see on the software information we're now on ww so that means we're on the global firmware uh, your settings has changed also so you can go to theme store let's see if it's working So your team stores are working. Go to my teams. Let's click Republic of Gamers. Apply. There. So as you can see, you you still have a few apps here. Some Chinese apps remaining. You can always delete on that. Ten cent video. Uninstall. Then Tencent News, uninstall. So technically that's it. So you have your global firmware now. So now we'll have to fully convert it in order for us to receive uh, updates and do manual updates, okay? So I'll teach you that in a while. I'll be back.